Hello and welcome back to the Craft Box. My name is Brenton. Today we're on episode 259 of the Wizard One Death Walkthrough. I had to check that up. I was just forgot what what number we are. It's too many, too many numbers. Last time we managed to become Bartleby's Scion, and today we are gonna quickly change our badge. Um, whoopsie Daisy. Oh <laughs> yes. Um, which is Polaris and um, Terror of Bastille. Sure. Um, and we are talking to Merle. To start I with. always knew you were special, but to be Bartleby's scion, oh, I couldn't be more proud. Oh, alas, there's no time to revel in the moment with Bartleby on the mend. Did he offer any insight into repairing the rift between Raven and Spider? Or oh, what's to be done about Mallory? Bartleby says Mallory's consciousness is lost in the reverie? Oh. That's the plane where thoughts and memories coexist. But how do we retrieve her? You are to escort Mallory to the place where life and death converge. Uh, a place called Mandala, you say? Mandala, of course. That's the island where the life and death paradox chain is moored. In Imperia. Ah, uh, of course it's in Imperia. At least Spark and the Captain are already there. But how in the blue blazes do we get into this reverie place? I have heard legends tell of the reverie. I am certain it is akin to the other side. It will take a bit of research, but I can get you there. When the time comes, I will find you. It's gonna take a bit to get Mallory's life support apparatus prepped for travel. You go on ahead, wizard. We'll catch up with you on Ariel. My, oh my. This all has my head spinning. <laughs> Good luck, wiz... Uh, uh, I mean, scion. <laughs> We're all counting on you. Yay, okay, there we go, XP. Gotta love that XP. Also, they fixed Diego, which is really, really good. He was a bit broken last time. Um, he's no longer T-posing everywhere, um, which is great. Uh, let's head over to Imperia. First time heading into Imperia in a while. It's been been too long, way too long, but we are back, finally. Look at it. We don't even have the new loading screen, damn it. I want to see the new loading screen. Urgh. The new loading screen looks so good, by the way. It's so cool. Wizard! Oh, finally. I'm so tired of being Spark's lab assistant. Please, please, tell me we have marching orders from the Arcanum. Um, is it, is it broken? Not quite broken. Kind of broke there. Where to escort Malloy's dying body to an island called Mandalala. Okay. <laughs> Mandalala. Now, where are beans of Malloy? Oh! Here we are! Ah, no, 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 no! How do you stop this thing? Ah, whew. Okay, here we are. Mallory's vitals remain stable during transit, but she's still on a downward trajectory. Beans, you look like you're having some trouble there. Be careful, man. That's about as precious a cargo as precious cargo comes. Darn it, James. I'm a doctor, not a delivery man. Where's Spark? We need to get a move on. It takes a surprising amount of core strength to keep this contraption parked. Beans, my muscleless medical officer. You're right. So, the thing with our science officer is... Spark is obsessed with the network of sensors he's dreamed up, and I've had to assist him. He keeps yammering on about fascinating results. As we speak, Spark's out in the jungle investigating the sensor in the northwest quadrant that's mysteriously gone offline. I offered to do it, but he told me to wait here to verify a signal or push a button or something. I can never follow what that kid is saying. You should go check on Spark and the jungle wizard. I'll stay here and make sure Beans' lackluster abdominal muscles don't ruin the mission. Okay, I'll be back. Actually, wait, no, we need to go over to Spark. I forgot. We do need to fight something after this. Um, but we need to, we need to get there first. We need to go talk to Spark, and then I'll skip the fight because we're only doing bosses. We ain't about those mob fights. Not, not about that today. Not about that life. Um, but yeah, welcome back. It's been a while. Um, these walkthroughs aren't going to be posting as much as they used to be which was nearly every day, they're going to be kind of slow because I, I don't want to rush through this. I'm, there's no real need for me to be max level anytime soon, so we just we just chill and we're going at our own pace. Um, so yeah, we won't be rushing through. There'll probably be like two episodes a week, one episode a week maybe. It kind of depends. Um, but yeah, there'll be... It'll be still coming out, but just at kind of a slow rate. Salutations, wizard. I trust Librarian Fitzhume delivered my note. Excellent. Then you are aware of the work Captain Pork and I have been doing. As for the subject the note posited to you, what is the status of young Mallory? Hmm. So there is much work yet to be done. However, 
it would not be prudent for me to abandon my current project so close to its completion. The sensors we've installed throughout Imperia have yielded fascinating results. I believe we're on the cusp of a communications breakthrough. However, this sensor has been damaged, compromising the integrity of the entire network. Thankfully, I have identified the cause of the problem. Lightning bugs have looted the dynamos from this sensor. I theorize the intense electricity the dynamos generate is comforting to them. The network is vital to our efforts here in Imperia and must be repaired. Can you please retrieve the pilfered dynamos from the lightning bugs? Sure thing. I'll be back once I've collected three of these. <laughs> okay, I am back. Finally got it. it. Took us a wee while with that. Um, we talking to Spark. Hi. Ah, good. You have retrieved the dynamos. I will replace them and recalibrate the sensor now. Done. With the network back online, I should now be able to remotely hail Captain Pork at base camp via my communicator badge. Spark to Pork. Come in, Captain Pork. Captain Pork, do you read me? Ah, there's a gremlin in my shirt. Oh, wait, Spark, was that you? Hello, Spark, did you tinker with my crew badge again? The communicators are indeed working, and believe it or not, we have the severing of the fire and ice paradox chain to thank for it. You see, my sensors have serendipitously collected data which shows a dramatic reduction in the ether in the air, most notably around Athanor. The decrease in atmospheric animositrons confirms the ether is the physical residue of the ancient clash between Raven and Spider. The paradox chains appear to attract the ether and even bolster its volatile, violent nature. The negative energy is what keeps Raven and Spider away from Imperia. Ergo, breaking the Paradox Chains is bad in that respect. Didn't realize that one, did we? Conversely, Ooh. the diminished ether has greatly simplified travel, and as you just witnessed, created fascinating communications capabilities. I programmed our crew badges to function as communicators. I took the liberty of fashioning you one as well. You are most welcome. Now, there are a few security updates I must make to this sensor. If you need me, you know how to find me. Please brief Pork on my status. Okay, let's head back to Pork. Let's get moving. Let's go to new places. I don't think we're going to be going to... Oh, there's the new loading screen. Look at that. So cute. So cute. Um, I don't know if we're going to get into any new places today. We'll see. I can't quite remember there how it you goes. Are. I take it by your long absence and Sparks startling apparel-based communique that you got his sensor network working. And our badges are now communicators. Fan. Task. Now I don't have to go to Mandala. Uh, that is, now we can split it up and get more done. Research assisting isn't the only thing I've been up to, you know. I've got a solid lead on that dirty, no good, rip him, cross him, coward, bat. The traitor thinks he can hide in the one place we wouldn't think to look for him. Art didn't think that I would think he thought it. What? I'm sorry, but you'll have to get Malori to Mandala -la -la -la. on your own. Don't be scared. Believe in you, wizard. And you too, Beans. Yeah, great pep talk, Jimmy. Look, wizard, Malori's vitals are dropping. We've got to get to Mandala now, but we shouldn't fly in blind. Lucky for us, I did some research of my own. Ignis told me about a Kalamar village on Mandala called Samsara. Apparently, there are monks there acutely devoted to life and death magic. Hopefully, they can help us get Malori to the right spot. Don it, Beads, you're a doctor and an intelligence officer. Good work. You three should get to Samsara immediately. Come on, I'll help you push Malori to the pod bay before I head to Xanadu. Okay, that was pretty... Actually, we are going to be going into new places today, which is great. Um, Mandala -la 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 is where we're going, where we need to go. I honestly cannot remember any more of the story from here because I didn't actually listen to any more of it. So, this is all new to me, which is really cool. Really, really cool. The one thing that I really love about this game is going to new places. I think I've said this Look a for couple Samsara times. Village and don't get stuck talking to the locals. Got it. Let's get going. Okay, we are Russian. We Russian. Mandala, la, 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 let's go. Um, but yeah, it. I love going to new places. It's honestly so good. I don't so think good. I'm ever gonna get used to those landings. You okay, wizard? Yes, I am. Are you okay? No. The stream portal's up and running. Now that we're here, we need to get Malori to this Samsara place. It's not going to be easy to find, though. The jungle's so thick it could be right in front of us, and we'd never see it. That looks like a path over there. Go see where it leads. I'll watch over Malori here. Be quick about it. My abs are killing me. Okay, let's um quickly do this. So we're in Mandala, which is like a wee little ringy thing. It's kind of cool. There's the life and death chain right there. Um, if you can see, obviously, 
this is this is where we are here. Yeah. Um, let's just hit us. Let's just hit him. Stop messing about and let's just do it. Let's do it. Um, basically, this is copy paste of the jungle in the, the first bit as well. So, yeah, that's fun. But um, you know, it's okay. It's okay. We forgive them for that. We forgive them. We forgive them. I really like how there's two different loading screens. It's really cool. What are we loading in? Oh, the giant ants. Oh, of gosh. I'll be back once I've defeated these guys. Okay, I am back. Hopefully, just killing these guys. We had to do another one before this. There's like two ant fights. They're disgusting. Don't like them. Um, but hopefully we're done. Hopefully we killed. They also need to fix the catch of the day spell. It's still broken. I thought someone would have reported that as a bug in the test realm. But still broken, unfortunately. So that's fun. It, it takes just forever now. It's ridiculous. Um, but yeah, please don't be another bug. Damn it! There's there's more bugs. Whoa! Who are you? Look out! Oh, he actually has dialogue. Wow! Let's defeat the horned frogs, and I'll be back in just a sec. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> we just killing these wee little things. I have to say that the combat music here. It was really, really good. Just sitting and listening to the combat music, so good. The best part, the best part of this place is honestly the combat music. It's just so good. But um, yeah, they're dead. Hopefully, they should be good. Easy. So this is a bummer. Let's get back to a safe clearing, and I'll explain. Um, not F D. Good job. Um, let's head back. Let's head back to Marum, who who is we saved. Who is we saved? We, we saved really good, and now we can um, be free. He can be free, at least, which is great. Um, so let's head back to him, which is all the way over here. So big. So long. I really like this area. I, I don't know why, but like just the whole concept of it being a complete ring is pretty cool to me. I think that is so cool. Um, I honestly forgot uh, this area, so I'm happy. Does that jungle path lead anywhere? Well, why don't you find out? We've got to get to Samsara. Okay, the jungle's vibrations are calm here. We can talk. I know it looked like those frogs were gonna hurt me, but they totally weren't. You're strangers, I get it. You don't know how we do things. Life and death energy constantly shifts and swirls through the jungle. It's really amazing. I was preparing the grove for a death influx, see? Ah, now I have to start over. The fight totally harsh the vibes there. No worries, I can do it. You just gotta be more careful, you know? How did how did it um how did it totally harsh the vibes I am a death was it obviously you were prepared for death and flux because that's me. Sorry for the confusion, but we're in a hurry. We need to get this girl to Samsara and get her medical attention. Samsara? It's close, but you'll never get there on foot. We live above the jungle, in the sky. You'll have to fly. Take my sky boat. When you get there, find my man Cole. He'll welcome you. You'll love it there. Okay, let's head over to Samsara. Looks like all of us will fit. Barely. Let's go, wizard. Um, let's head over to Samsara. And we will um, probably then finish off the episode there. These episodes, I don't want them to be way too long. Um, or, well, really long at all. I just want them to be kind of around like 10, 15 minutes. Come a long way to get here, haven't you? Welcome to Samsara. To our limited perceptions, time is a line. From the past to the future, life and death. They look like two different things, but they're not. From outside a mortal vantage point, existence is a flattened circle, a wheel. Raven made the ring of mandala to remind us of that forever. Aww. This is Samsara, the center of my people's great work. I sense something very important brought you here. How can we Calamar help? This girl is dying. She needs your help. The chain is why we're here. We need to fill her with the chain's life magic to keep her alive. Why do you want to do that? Death is just a part of the cycle. You have to free your minds. Go talk to our elder. She'll help you. Okay, we'll, we'll just head over to the elder, just because I, I like this place. And we need to see it a bit more before we go. Um, here's the map, by the way. Looks pretty cool. Um, we are kind of just floating up here by the chain, apparently. Um, there's this chain right there. Right there is the chain, which is quite cool. Um, let's... Where is the elder? I forget. I forgetted. I forgetted where the elder is. He this way. He'd be over here, probably. 
Um, yes, in the heart? No, just out here. Okay. Here he is, found him. She, sorry. Greetings, stranger. I have seen your coming before in my meditation. You have an amazing aura. Yours is a mighty destiny. You have come to prevent a death. Oh, you do not understand. Life and death are not opposites. They are different segments of the Great Wheel. So why not let this girl die? It is the way. The wheel spins. The matter of her body will nourish new life. This is not to be feared. You don't understand. This isn't just any girl. If she dies, it could mean the end of everything. What do you mean? Let me look into the girl's aura and see if I can see what concerns you so much. This is the raven child. If she dies, light will be lost forever and the cycle itself will break. That's what we're trying to tell you. Oh my God. I gosh. understand now. You must take her to the cave of quickening where the chain focuses the power of life magic. Cole will arrange it. Wizard, I want to consult with the Elder a little more. You go get ready to go. I'll catch up. Okay, we're gonna leave off here for today. Um, next time we will talk to Cole, we'll head into the thing, we'll save Malori maybe, who knows. Thank you for watching, your interview. like and subscribe if you've already subscribed, press the wee little bell so you know exactly when I post another video. And remember craft outside the box.